Ah, I was battling my arch nemesis, Dr. Dickleberry, and he teleported me here. I recognize this place. It's the realm of the great obelisk of destiny. I've seen it in my dreams. I need to find my way back home before that bastard Dickleberry tries to buy my girlfriend a nice seafood dinner. A tiny spacecraft. It's a stairway, a curved one, like many of the dicks I fondled in college. Home? More like homo, am I right? Okay. The Great Obelisk of Destiny. It has the power to create and destroy. How and why does it have such power? I don't fucking know. It just does. It's an orb. I feel it calling to me like a sensual lover. It's an island. It looks glorious. If only I could fly over there and gallop around like a gay old fawn. Those vines hang down really far. I think I see a beach down below. You pet the obelisk and tell it it's a good kitter. I don't need to fondle that. I sense that this ball longs to be kissed more than grabbed. There's some force coming from that orb that's preventing me from climbing down the vines. The orb must want something from me. Can't. I can just walk on the stairs. I can't do anything with a tiny spacecraft. Except maybe open up the top and plop down my firm ass cheeks and drop a rainbow poo inside. I don't need to fi- Hello? Anyone in there? Me. Me, 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 me. Me, me. But I want some action too. Me. Me, me. Me, 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 Uh, you know what? I'm good. Me. Me, me, me. Rude. Hey. Me, 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 me. Fine, maybe I will. I should try kissing something else. The stairs won't be able to fully appreciate my cherry flavored lip balm. That's one thing I don't need to kiss. Glorious island, come to me! Or just stay where you are, that works too. Can you hear me, oh great obelisk of destiny? I have but one question. Why are bushes bushy? The obelisk is not amused. I don't need to kiss the vines. You give the orb a peck but your lips feel a little dry, so you slather them with your saliva-drenched tongue. Then you cup the orb with both hands like you would cup supple buttocks, and give the orb the tongue in it desires. The orb vibrates with pleasure, and slime seeps out of the orb's microscopic pores. The slime forms a boob-like blob, which plops into your hand. You pocket it. You make a mental note to head to the clinic when you get home just to see if you're infected or not. Worth it, either way. I'll always remember you, Orb. I think the Orb is done with- I don't need to kiss the Orb again. Nope. I tried sucking my own dick when I was 13 and I dislocated a rib? I'm not doing that again. You look down at your hands and a moment of existential dread invades your soul. The futility of it all. You cry a little, then slap yourself across the face. There's no time for despair. You must return home and save your girlfriend from the nefarious Dr. Dickleberry. I'm not in the mood. The orb has been satisfied, so its force is no longer preventing me from climbing down the vines. I'll start climbing down. I lost my buttery grip and fell from the vines. The soft sand and the slime boob cushioned my fall and I didn't even get injured, but the slime boob got destroyed. Just trust me, that's what happened, okay? At least I'm back on Earth. But what year is it? Those damn dirty apes finally did it. They blew it up. Damn them. Damn them all to hell. You pet the head. It's a good head. The head is communicating with me telepathically. It says that I must kiss it on the lips. And in return it will teleport me to whatever time and place I desire. That's how I'll get back to my girlfriend. I can't get any closer to the lips because of that snake. 
I can't get any closer to mm, those lips look so kissable. That snake is blocking me from getting to those sweet lips. The sea is washed upon this beach a glorious bounty. No, I mustn't soil the lips with my fingers like some dirty ape. I must kiss them. I only touch trouser snakes. Mr. Snake, please move. The snake isn't listening to me. I've just got to get to those statue's lips somehow. The snake is blocking me from... Soiled panties, you will be mine. Yummy! I'll add these to my collection. Hey, wait a second. These panties are emanating a strange aura. I wonder what that's all about. These panties are emanating a strange aura. I wonder what would happen. I can't use the panties on that snake. But perhaps I could use them on my own snake. I can't use the panties on- You take off your pants and whitey tighties and gently, ever so gently, slide on the panties. You feel different. You suddenly realize that these are no ordinary panties. They are magical. The power of the panties has made you invisible to snakes. You put your pants back on. I feel like a new woman. That stupid snake can't see me now since I'm wearing the magical panties. I'm wearing the panties now and I'll never take them off. Never! I'm already wearing the... I'm wearing these. They make me feel magical and sexy. The power of the panties has made you invisible to the snake. As you bend over to kiss the lips, the mouth opens wide and swallows you whole. The mouth closes. In complete darkness, you try to claw your way out, but only transform your fingertips into bloody nubs. After a few days, you die of dehydration, and Dr. Dickleberry starts dating your girlfriend. But your girlfriend has syphilis, so that asshole is in for a nasty surprise. The end.